Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video, where tonight I'm joined by the amazing M23. What's up, bro? Welcome. So, um, if you haven't seen it already by the thumbnail or by the title or whatever the case may be, M23 has created an 8-bit computer inside Lumber. Now, we've seen logics and stuff like that before, but I think this is the first time that I've seen it, everything's modulated out, everything's, um, basically, it's assembly code, right? Like, it's a, it's a CPU running assembly. Um, basically, yes. <laughs> so, uh, okay, take us to the heart. Where does it, where does the computer start? Um, all right. Um, I think we should go first, um, to the control building. Okay. That is... Very control the whole thing and program it. Welcome. Controlled. This Master is the controlled. first floor. This is the T6 3.20.2022. It works. <laughs> yeah, that was the first test run I made that the thing actually worked. Yes. Um, all right. Over here is my personal desk, marked with N M, where the main controls are. We have a switch with C for the clock um, enable. That basically starts up the whole computer. In, um, in, for those of you that are not in computer terms, uh, a clock is an alternating on, off, on, off, on, off. That's the, um, the timer that causes everything else to happen. So like when you're sending the signal, it's gonna go on the on. If you're waiting for a signal, it's gonna go to the off. And that's what a clock is. Yeah. So. Um, in the middle here, we have um, a switch that is basically only for debugging, not um, important for now. Um, and we have a manual pulse clock, so we can pulse the clock manually um, if needed. So that's to for debugging, and you'd be able to like step, step, step each, each yeah. pulse. Got it. Correct. Um, over here is the fun part. Here's the programming and resetting section. Gotcha. Um, we have the bus axis. So if we want, we can just put stuff on the bus. And the bus is that over long there. middle thing going down the center? Yes. So. That basically connects all the modules so they can talk with each other. Um, if we have something on the bus, we can select if we want to put that in the address, at register or in RAM. So, for example, we are um, wanting to write to address 1, so we select 1, select address, wait a few seconds for the logic, all the way back there in the back, you saw the green, the, the the blue wire just light up. Hold on, hold on one second. Stay right there. All right, so. So what he's talking about, the bus right here, this is like the main cable or the main area that runs down a uh, motherboard. And he just cycled a one, which actually comes all the way over here, goes into the registries, does a little bit of logic, and then bam, it actually stores it over here, right? Yes. And that um, is RAM. Read. It's storing it in the um, memory address register, the cherry wood thing, and gives the signal back to the um, RAM decoder that decodes the one to the actual one and selects the address back um, that's down, down there. Here. Yep. With all the AND gates over here. Oh, I was in the wrong spot. Yes. Here is basically the decoder. And there it is. Just a few end gates with combining logic. Simple. It's oh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I did a kind of good job of laying all the wires. I, th I think it's art. It is. Th this right here, even though it's it's all science logic computers, this is an art form right here. Building this stuff. That's why I always said I... computer programming is the same thing. It's a, it's a, like writing a poem. Um, next up, if we have selected the address, we can just write something to that address. Um, let's say just an alternating pattern. 
and then we select the air for RAM, and now it's writing to RAM. Um, normally, you would um, write a program, like an instruction at that address, for example, add instruction, and then the computer would execute the add instruction if it's at that address. <clears throat> Over here, we have two more levers. Um, that are the reset levers that basically just um, resets the counters, the step counter and the program counter. Okay. Yes. That is basically it for um, this area over here. We also have little display over here. That just eight wires that display the result of a mathematic um, over here. So program do you have an adder, divider, multiplier, subtractor? <clears throat> I have um, 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 LAU. We can go to that next because that's the first thing I built, actually. Okay. Um, this thing does um, multi not multiplication, um, subtraction and adding. Adding. Addition. Got it. Yes. So this Thank is you. your your adder. This does basically math. Yeah, you can see this small with five gate logic gates. That's an adder. One adder. And I have eight from the those uh, for an 8 bit LA year. Yeah. And is is this your carryover? The extra wire on the end? Um Yeah, that's uh, I think that's a carry. Yeah, that's a carry. And that Basically, uh, for those of you not computer packery, <laughs> uh, a carry is whenever the addition of two numbers is too great to put out to a number uh, registry, you have to add a carry over here to the side so it knows, hey, you're gonna do this result plus whatever's on your, your next registry. So. If you want, we can look at that in depth um, because I have a small museum with um, those logic it separated and you where you can explain that better if you want to sure yeah let's go pink truck pink truck it's gonna be the Almost. thumbnail just amazing pink truck <laughs> um this is basically the museum we have some gates a mini map of the whole thing just looking at it. I'm like, wait a second. Okay, so. Code logic? CL? Um, control logic. Control logic. You are here. <laughs> like how you just got a big U on it. And then FR? Um, flex register for um, Turing completion. Okay. And then ALU, that's, that's the adder. Right? Yes. And then OR, I just said this. Output register. Output register and then REB. Um, register B. And then this is register A, right? Correct. So basically you store, like you either you input something and it comes over here and it stores it in the RAM and then you give it an instruction to store it in like register. B or register A, and then you give the logic something like, hey, add B to A, and then the output comes over here. Correct. Or, yeah, I think, yeah. Um, over here, we have also the instruction register that sets um, uh, the instruction to the control logic. And over here is RAM, the memory address register that stores the address we have selected. Mm-hmm. The program counter and the clock. So this is the thing that goes on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. And then this thing Correct. over here, when we send it an instruction, says, hey, I'm going to use 10110. And then this thing goes, oh, that's over on here in this address. Store whatever the input is to the clock and bang, and it stores it into the RAM. And then Perfect. When, it's, when it's in the RAM, you can come over here to your control and be like, hey, I want to send this to register B. So you, you select your address and then you select which registry to go to. It comes down the bus and goes into register B. Boink. Correct. And then the um, yeah. 
sorry, go ahead. Talk, you talk. <laughs> and then you can say, hey, I want to take whatever's in RAM at address, blah, blah, blah. And we're gonna send it down the bus and it's gonna go to register A. And then you go back over here and you say, hey, I want to take A plus B, boom, boom, or A minus B, and A times B, whatever the case may be, which is also controlled over here. And it goes, okay, duh, 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 and then spits the output. Correct. So. Yes. Um, the fun thing is also, the, the cool thing is also the um, program counter that you have um, a jump instruction that basically says the program counter, go to, um, set yourself to, I don't know, um, two, and then it's at two, and then it's um, like you can do loops or skip certain instructions in RAM. So you That's could say, program. take uh, take this address in RAM, put it in REA, take this number, put it in B, but do it three times. Correct. Basically. Cool. I think I got it. Um, over here is the wall of helpers. Yes. King Bob 5745. Thank you for helping. He helped me a lot with building this thing, mainly be the RAM. Because it's a pain to build. Um, yes. Big shout out to him. And another guy I sadly don't have a signature of. Oh no. Um, I did see Sir Red's name was on the front of that, right? On the yeah, that's um, if you come back here. Sorry. Where are you running? Sorry, I'm running. I'm <laughs> running around on your ram. <laughs> on my ram stick. Perfect. Shout out to all those people who signed my base. Ender, Caesar, KM. Um, Curry and Marie, a uh, supervisor in the fan group. Got it. Uh, oven, or is that over? Mm -hmm. Arshi Aus, the A. Gotcha. And then the A, and then LBM12. Lego Build Master 12. And then HPG. Um, uh, I don't know his actual name, um, but uh, we call him Happy. He's also a supervisor intern in the fan group. Nice. Mostly staff members from the fan group are on here. Uh, CA Smart? RA Smart? No, that's um, Barnes Signature and Smarts, uh, also a supervisor in the fan group. Gotcha. And then... Um, Defs, Def Shunaker, hope I pronounced that correct. Def <coughs> Shuriken? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And then Jordan Bello or B.O.? Bella. 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 See, um, if it, if it's was a supervisor in the fan group. <laughs> um, we have also Aquaflows. I he has a new name, but I don't know it. <gasps> Aquaflows, what's up, bro? And Ooh. Ash. Everybody has like a like an A kind of looking thing. I'm gonna have to sign this. Oh, <gasps> am I allowed to sign this? Um, of course, but uh, I think we could do that after the video. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't mind. <laughs> and of course, Sarets. Mm hmm. Saw this one. All right, let's get back uh, to. Okay, what are we missing? What have we not e explained? I guess the uh, the control logic we haven't. Explained. Um, didn't you want uh, to see the this? Yes. Those two things. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> is this? What is this? This is the adder, and this is our register. Got it. What do you want to uh, have first? Um, take a number and place it in one of the registers, and then add it to a second register. What? <laughs> no, no, I mean, um, this is like basically a bis display unit. You can explore how this f thing works. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so what is V? Um, v stands for value. So we have value zero. We can turn it to one. And then L is load. And if we load the one, it should, hopefully, it's a bit buggy, Ooh. but here it is. The um, one is now here. And it's stored. So if you turn yeah. it off, it'll stay on, right? It's like a flip-flop. Yeah. I just turned it back off. Sweet. Um, And over here is um, the 
adder. C stands for carry out and output stands for output. Yes. Okay. And so I do... Uh, oh, no, I don't want to move it. There we go. And if I do toggle, that's one. Plus one. Let's take that off. And two. No. No. This thing basically... Um, if one of those inputs are on, it doesn't matter what, then the output is on. Because in binary, a one is just one place. Right. right? Um, but if every, if any of two of those levers are on, then the, after a bit of waiting, yes. Um, the carry is on, because, um, a two in binary is zero, um, zero. Zero, zero, one. One zero. If you have two, yes. I'm uh, sorry. I'm a bit nervous. Um, <laughs> Don't be nervous. This is your setup. Like you're the one that actually did all the logic and everything else. I'm just showing it to the world because I think it's amazing. That's it. Um, and if all of those are on, then a three in binary is one one. So. The carry and the output is on after a bit of waiting. There it goes. Yes, that's basically adding a binary. Um, one floor up was um, a display unit of an LEU. Of a, like of a here. What? Of the LEU, like, but a smaller version. Gotcha. So the whole thing that the LEU just and smaller, but I removed it because I need a virus. <laughs> you yes. made a virus? No, wires. Oh, wires. Got it. I thought you said you made a virus. I'm like, with an 8-bit <laughs> computer? That's, that's impressive. <laughs> yes. Hacking LT2 fun. I'm inside. <laughs> Hacking LT2 from wires. <gasps> that's awesome. Um, and if you turn this switch on, it everybody can fly inside the server. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, let's go to the control logic, I guess. Okay. That's basically the brain of a computer with um, the LEU. The LEU and the control logic and um, I think, if I have it correct, um, the decode. Mm-hmm. Instruction decode forms the CPU of every computer. You can say hi. Come here. Hello. <laughs> Do you see what hey. he did inside Lumber Tycoon 2? What? Do you see what he did inside Lumber Tycoon 2? Which is... Do you see all these wires and logic? Yeah. This is a computer inside a game. So, basically he's going to make a game inside of a game. Or it's, it's not that powerful, but yet he says yes. Yeah, basically that's what he's gonna do. Mm -hmm. So you know all the parts of your computer on the inside. Yeah, all the ones and zeros and technology and yes, yeah. yes, technology. Okay, so in technological advances. Here, hold on one second. So this over here, e? this is the clock. This is the thing that goes mm -hmm. on off, on off, on off. So that's the speed of your computer. You know how you run it like three point three uh, gigahertz. Oh. So basically, yeah, frames yeah, per yes, second. Sorry. Um, stay by the clock. All right. Stand by the clock. Okay, standing by the clock. Should turn on. Yep, it's on. Um, um if you wait a few seconds, it should also turn off and back on. But the cycle is kind of long because, yeah, LT two. Yeah, the lag. It's hey, understandable. Uh, look at my face. Oh no, you got a hole in your face. That's okay. My, no. my hand's got it on there too. I think that's just a reflection. Okay, but. Wait, wait, but, wait. But. 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 Wait. But. Fuck, fuck. Ollie. Fuck. Dude. Fuck, we gotta dad, record. Dad. I'm fuck, recording fuck, a video. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm, I don't edit my videos. This is gonna all be in there. Father. Look. What? For wavelength. Oh. Father. For wavelength makes my hand look green. See? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I see that. Okay. Bye. Bye. Say bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. I'm going now. I love you, bud. Bye.
Uh, oh, did you mess up my stop? <laughs> air, Seriously. Air. Bye. Okay, so after. Sorry, I was explaining it to him, wasn't I? Oh, good. Okay, let's go back over to the control. Or, sorry, command logic. Control logic, control was logic. correct. <laughs> I guess you could oh, say it um, t uh, uh, if you want. Give me Con a, uh, like, hold on a second. Give me a quick one down. <laughs> Hello, people. It's a very simple, very small program. Okay. And it's eight bits. Okay. So. An eight bit game? An eight bit computer. Uh -huh. It's not even that big of a, like a, you can't make a game out of it. I need you to go. Okay. Okay. What's your best of luck of making it an eight bit game? He, he wished it doesn't. Luck. For an eight bit, an eight, <laughs> an eight bit game. An eight bit game. We'll have lunch. Go. Okay. All right. When is lunch? Right now. Oh. I have to, I have to record during lunch. I'm busy, busy. Love you, bye. Love you, buddy. Metal bits. <laughs> Ow. Go, dude. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm back. Lol. <laughs> um. <laughs> This computer has actually not enough RAM to have any kind of game. I know. Um, I got many suggestions playing Doom on this computer. <laughs> actually. Yeah. Um. Uh, have yeah. Have you seen the guy that made the tic tac, uh, the tic tic tac, the um tic tac toe board? Um, on YouTube channel. I don't know if it was on my channel or not. I don't even know I if I'm the think... one on computer. I saw many TikTok bots to be honest. <laughs> yeah. They're in the comments. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm so sorry. I had to yell at my son because he kept opening the door again. So, uh, we're back. We're <laughs> recording. Sorry, <clears throat> say it one more time. <laughs> uh, what? Um, sorry. When I went silent there for a second, I had to pause it because my son kept opening and closing the doors. All good. So. Um, over here is, um, the micro instructions. Um, those are like that the control logic um, basically controls the micro instructions and the micro instructions um, are directly going to every module and th this way you can control um, what should do what at what moment. So what is yeah. J? J is jump. Okay. If this is on then the Ca um, program counter will take everything that is on the bus and take it in the program counter and set itself to that. All right. Yeah. Say it one more time. <laughs> you lost the, me. Um, okay. Um, so J if, instructions if, is jump. If jump is on, it takes everything out of where? Out of the bus. So like if we have a one on the bus, it's taking the one and putting it in the um, program counter and setting the program counter to one. Got it. Okay, that makes more sense. Yes. Um. I feel like I'm running around on a motherboard. <laughs> well, te technically I am. Technically, the plot is a motherboard. To be mm. honest. <clears throat> Um, over here is the step counter that counts um, what step of the um, instructions we are, are on right now. So every instruction is built out of multiple micro instructions and this thing keeps track of what micro instructions we are doing right now. So if I were to read off these wires, I could actually tell you, oh, this configuration is equal to um, A register N. No, so this wire just, this is just a counter like the program counter. And the output of the counter goes into this monstrosity of a thing. Um, and with the step counter and with the instruction, register input output it taking that and looks what 
works, basically. Like, if we have a 1 right now on the um, instruction ROM, and if you look, instruction 1 works perfectly with um, LDA load to A. If you can see that here. And then it's Kinda. looking um, what um, step it's on, and then it's executing the um, correct, setting the correct um, micro instructions over here. No That's one. basically what's it doing. I explained it a bit complicated, sorry. No, no, it, 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 it works. <laughs> um, if you look over here, here's all the um, instructions we have right now. Okay. So we have, if you want, I can explain what those mean. Sure, HLT. Um, what? HLT. Um, that's hold, that holds the system clock and basically ends the program. Um, oh. hmm? Halt and catch fire. <laughs> Sorry. Out, out is self-explanatory, it's just outputting. Um, it's actually doing something very smart. Um, it's taking whatever is in the A register and outputs it. Because, gotcha. um, yes, um, I will explain why it does that um, if we go one more down. The next instruction is add. This instruction takes um, anything, uh, like loads from the um, address you selected from RAM, loads the content from RAM from red address into register B, then the result gets calculated in the LAU, and then the result of the LAU gets fetched into register A. Nice. This is why this address, um, this address, bruh, can't talk. Um, this is bigger than the other, because this is a two-step patching process. So, it's taking whatever is here, and if a clock goes high, it's fetched that into the first step, and if it goes back low, it's fetching it to the second and loads it correctly. Okay, so you this have... This prevents... On, on a one, it goes high. On a zero, it goes low. So no, when the wait, clock, I can show when, it to When the clock goes on, it has a high register. But when the clock goes off, it goes to low register? No, it's basically it has a two step. So um, if the clock goes high, it's going in the first step. And if the clock goes back down, it's going in the second step and do uh, fetching it correctly. I can show you that. Sure. Um, so if we have a zero on here, you see? Mm -hmm. All zero. If we put it on one, the clock goes high now, and okay, never mind. <clears throat> Can you give me a second? Yeah, is it laggy? No, I just need to um, connect a switch because the um, it's doing what it should do because um, the micro instruction is not selected. So if the clock goes high, it's doing nothing because the micro instruction is not selected. Ah. If that makes sense. Um, Avira, fix it. Uh, one second. Sorry. There it went. Um, if you can see, yet yeah, now, oh, anyways, um, now the, you can imagine that thing as two registers in series. Um, if a clock goes high, the content of a bus goes in the first uh, row of registers. Okay? Okay. And if the clock goes back low... One second. Um, it's going in the second row, because the first row inputs to the second row. Whoa, I had a lot of switch right there. I just saw it. And then it's doing it correctly. This basically prevents that if the um, LHU puts the result back in A, that it does loop. 
So, if you wouldn't have that, it would loop the new result with B and add that f in for infinite time. Gotcha. And that it, it we would don't just keep want going that. Up, 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 up. Until yes. eventually it would just say output plus counter or carry. And then it'd have to switch back and then go back to a zero anyway. Actually, yes. could you make it uh, instructions where it starts at zero, counts to five, and resets? Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> um, that is actually pretty simple. Um, no. We're, we're right at 30 minutes. I would say yes, show it to me, but... We're, uh... No, no, we are not programming that yeah. until there. <laughs> um, the last instruction of uh, uh, that next instruction is LDA. Mm -hmm. That basically means take from address that is selected from RAM, put the content in register A. Simple. Nice. And then no op. Um, no operation, basically. If it's, this is selected, it's basically doing nothing, except one thing. If you walk a bit. Um, if no operation is selected, it's just turning on this N in the control room. So you know it's doing nothing. So does, that, neon. does that turn on as an indicator, or...? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, one last thing is I want to talk about um, Turing completeness, if it's okay for you. Sure, yeah. Um, it's not added as of a moment as of right now because um, it takes a while. But basically, um, Turing completing may, may it's, is um, the two instructions jump if. So, we have a flex register over here that checks if the result of, a, of the equation we did is over 8 bits, so over 255, right? or if it's zero. So. Um, with, those, um, uh, with those information, we can basically make an instruction that... So basically, like I typed out in the the chat, if the the current value is one 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 one, and you add one to it, this is the carry. Is that what you're saying? Um, back. Sorry. Oh no problem. Um, um, that basically enables us to um jump if, some, for example. We, we load the instruction and then it's looking at the result and looking if it's um, over 255 or zero and then it's if yes it jumps and if no it's does nothing basically gotcha and this is Turing completeness if I I think I explained that correct I'm not sure I'm not like good it, it's okay <laughs> and I'm not I'm not going to insult my fans but um, I would say 95% of anybody watching this video is not going to understand it. If you did understand it, leave a comment down below and be like, Oh my god, that's awesome! If you didn't, be like, Oh my god, that's awesome! Just leave a comment anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so. The Turing completeness allows us basically to do everything. Um, a Turing computer is every computer because, like, the computer we are playing right now is Turing complete. Um, that basically means that that instruction. And if with Turing complete, we can calculate everything calculatable, basically. Mm -hmm. So, you said earlier that you, if this thing can do multiply, correct? I think so. With Turing completeness, we can multiply, even if we don't have an, um, 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 the hardware for that. So, right, add, add, adder, adder, and then down below you should have adder, 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 adder. And then, like, if these were all ones, and you sent the signal to add a one to it, right, the, hold on, where is it? You've got four outputs here. 
up with Seer and Vet the just go to end is, gates. Is this the carry? Um no no no. Um the carry is um yes. Yes it's the carry. Um it's See? the carry of <laughs> the carry of the last adder is if the overflow checker. So if the carry of the last adder is on, then it's over two fifty five. Right, so and that's, then we know. that's the limit of this particular PC, because you haven't built anything to go over 255. Correct. Got it. And over here is just combining logic that checks if it's zero. Yeah. Pretty simple. Dude, I love, I, I'm just going to say this. I love this so much. It seemed like taking what Defaultio put in, taking the, the and, or, nots, switches, everything, combining it together, and having... A serial bus that like runs down the center of your board and controls everything to put it into registries mm. to put it like <sighs> do you have IRQs interrupts what never mind it's a <laughs> it's a, a it's a thing that you have to do back in the day whenever you'd install a sound card onto a computer you'd have to know what the IRQ number is the interrupt request Q uh, you, you'd have uh, to have I don't think I have that yeah. Um, anyways, I think that's all. One moment to appreciate that beautiful wiring, by the way. I'll come in here and get a, get a close-up look at that. Um. And I love how you've got them all staggered so they don't touch each other. They don't accidentally short. I had a lot of problem fixing that all. <laughs> that it doesn't short. Ooh. Um. Who's that one? You've huh? got a wire right beside my right leg. It cuts Jimmy. off and it does not attach to anything. Can you, like, yeah. Yeah, right beside my right leg. This wire that connects to the. Um, oh, here. You, this right. wire. Oh, yeah, this one right here. The one that I'm stepping It's connecting step to in. here, at least it should, to this. It's output. I think it's broken. I think I accidentally deleted a buyer or something. I'll fix that later on. Yeah. No problem. Anyhow. I think that was all. Let's step up here. Grab your axe out. We'll do a, a thumbnail and an outro. And I'll take a um, big... Can I say something to the um, watchers? To the No, you can't talk to my fans. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Say it. Go for it. I want to shout out someone and I want to say something. Um, shout out to King Bob, um, who helped me a lot with this um, computer. Big thanks. And sneak peek, I will add a graphics card to this. No, you're going to add graphics? I'm planning and designing right now. That's awesome. <laughs> Exclusive sneak peek. Well, if you guys want to, shout out to M23 for actually building it, designing it, and everything else. Do you have blueprints or like uh, an Instagram where like some logic is set up? Do you have any pictures of the stuff as you were building it? Um, you can go to my Twitter, or and I have made a website for this thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I if you send me the links, I will leave the links to this in the description down below. And uh, I think that's. And I have a YouTube channel um, where I, the I locked the whole building of a thing. Send that to me as well, and I'll, I'll make sure I put them all in here. Everything you want to shout out to them, everything that you want to give to them. So. All that's right. Awesome. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon Two with me, Heath Haskins, Code Prime. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, like a good YouTube. Does. But it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Do you want to do the outro? Uh, outro. <laughs> now do it in a ba Batman voice, like outro. Outro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got to practice. You, you, it's a it's a Batman voice essentially. It's like, where is she? It's it's just. <laughs> Outro. Outro. <laughs> <laughs>